the Speed Tech Drags kicked off the summer season in style. Great turnout, great cars, and they came from far and wide, like Jamie Harbour and his version 4 Subi wagon from Lower Hutt. This is my 97 version 4 SCI wagon. Um, I've flipped the intake manifold around with a front mount, which is, I'll say it under my breath, an Evo 6 intercooler at the front. Um, it's got an Apexi AX53 B70 turbo on it. Um, 450 horsepower sort of turbo. Um, it's running 1.15 bar here today just because it's got a standard WRX motor in it, not an SDI one. Once another motor's ready to go back in it, well, just to sort of see how much a stock WRX motor can take, we'll probably, probably do it at, at a manfield meet and just keep winding it until it starts going knock, 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 which they tend to do. So, yeah. And then we'll drop a good one and go again. Jamie's best pass was a 13.24. This rare and beautiful GTR Nur Skyline looks almost too good to be screaming down the strip. And to prove it's not all show, it ran under 13 seconds. And we've got a date with this magnificent beast in a future episode when it appears in our Maguire's Whip of the Week. It's amazing what some people do for kicks, like Laurie Verco here, whose idea of fun is to strap a NOS bottle under his butt and fire himself at the vanishing point. Oh yeah, it's a Buell, it's um, hand built in America by Harley. Uh, about 100 at the back wheel now. Plus the NOS, about 160 kilos at the moment, plus big fat me on top of it, so that's another 90. So, yeah, not too bad powder weight. Yeah, so it sort of should be able to do, I don't know, top end about 320, 325, something like that. Of course, there's always the favourites in the Pro Import class, including the insane Ray Glass Datsun. Well, believe it or not, this, uh, this little car was our workshop hack and uh, we decided that one day we'd cut it up and make it a race car. The only thing that's still Datsun is the roof and uh, the rear quarters. Everything else is carbon fibre and it sits on a full tube chrome molly chassis. The engine's are SR20 DT, uh, S setting with uh, big turbo cams, usual stuff, yeah. It's a clutchless G-Force. Um, gearbox, so once we let the clutch out, after that we just pull the five gears, just pull the lever as fast as you can. Uh, best performance, uh, we just come back from Wool event, Jamboree in Australia, we've done an 8.4.33 at 162 mile an hour, second quickest import car. Makes us the fastest force in the car in the country and the fastest rear wheel drive car. <laughs> got quite a bit of potential though, we just need to stick it to the track. We've got a new clutch set up coming, um, that's what's holding us back at the moment. Hopefully that'll be here in a week or so and we'll get it in before the season really starts and, and get a tune on it.